I'm a guitar player, I'm part of a band, I want to make a bigger sound than just that of the sort of early stuff I released and that of your kind of uh, quintessential like classic singer-songwriter. I want to make more, more, more noise than that. Um, I'm a Springsteen fan, I'm a, I'm a Stones fan, you know. Um, I love Ben Howard, I love De Ray LaMontagne, Damien Rice, you know, I love that quiet thing. I can't settle for just that. I, I, I tried and I just, it's not in my nature. I have to, I have to play loud too. So, um, I mean, I, I have no particular favourites on the album because they're all my favourite. I know everybody says that, but it's true. Um, I'm really proud of those songs that you named, you know, and, and writing them and the recordings, you know, those are so, maybe those are some of my favourite recordings, like, because I know the songs outside of just the, the album recordings. You know, I love playing all of those, so all of the songs live. Um, but yeah, you know, that's the, that's the reason why the sounds are what they are. Yeah, I mean, you've got the whole thing. You've got that one minute with a song like Move Together. Yeah. And then Get Out While You Can. Which yeah, man. Off the ends of the spectrum. Yeah, for sure. The whole crazy thing and the yeah. big guitar sound. Yeah. And, you know, the soul in vocals, which yeah. is really great because you listen Thanks. to the album and it's not just James Bailey singing a song like that. No way, James man. James Bailey, that great guitar player. Thanks. Great Thank artist. you. There'll be more, there's certainly, I think, moving forward, for me, guitar playing is something that I want to showcase even more. I wanted to be modest on this on this album, and, and you know, it's my debut, so I wanted to kind of be subtle about it and not, you know, be sort of throwing licks all over it. As much as I love to do that, I had to hold myself back. So there'll be some more of that later on. Sure. So tell us about a little bit quickly about your um, your songwriting process. Sure. Then. So would you start with with an acoustic? Uh, I I started with an acoustic a lot. Um, I, I start with the guitar. I 99 percent of the time, it's music. It's 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 um chords or a riff and then quickly a melody, vocal melody. Lyrics are a later thing. Um, so yeah, uh, that, that really is kind of the, the main part of the process. And, uh, and, and, and lyrics just, I mean, they, I kind of collect them up along the way. But then sometimes, you know, because of the way, the, the direction the music sort of takes, I'll, I'll, it'll make me feel a certain thing that'll bring a lyric up so I know we're brand new. Yeah, it's a, but I mean, as much as it, the, the process varies sometimes, um, the similar thing seems to be that the, 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 the melody and the chords are, are the first thing, and it's always the guitar. Except, I will say, except a couple of songs. If you ever want to be in love, I actually started that on the piano myself, and there's a song that's not on the album called Running, which I, it was the same thing, but I quickly get to... I ended up on If You Ever Want to Be In Love, putting loads of like slide and licks on it, so, you know. Great, so the next thing I guess then for you is the album release and yeah. the April tour. Yeah. How are you preparing for the album? Like this. Um, we're, we're preparing, you know, just thinking about the live set and the impact and the kind of impact that we can make. And, you know, we're in bigger venues this time. So can I, you know, can I make it a bigger show? That's the plan. That's what I want to do. Um, I want to make the guitar sound good. I'm going to say that, not just because this is a guitar magazine, but because that's always on my mind. How are you working on getting the guitar uh, to sound the best? Yeah. Uh, the acoustic thing is something I'm working on a lot, actually. I play, I play through an LR Bags venue DI. Um, I'm, I'm check, going to check out some new pickups from them because uh, uh, th there's a Fishman pickup that came with the, the J200 that it just, it's cool but it hasn't been working right for what I'm trying to achieve um, so there's some LR bag stuff I'm going to check out I have my for, on an electric level like the, t the Tone King over there um, Tone King it's a Tone King Sky King which is a, an amazing amp which um, is made by a guy called Mark Bartel in, in Baltimore in, in America it's just a great sound, man. It sings. I like all, all the sounds have to be clear and cl and kind of clean and clear to an extent, and then you know pushing volume or even hitting them harder is the thing that makes them br break up. Same same kind of goes for an acoustic, and that's actually something moving forward that I like to check out. And Feist does it a lot. She puts her acoustics through like a Vox AC30. Um, I just I like that idea of putting you, putting acoustic guitars to amps. I love that combination. It's still very real and wooden, but it's coming through with all this like power. So that's something I need to check out. Moving forward, maybe you'll hear some more of that in the, in the live set. Maybe even on this tour, who knows?